Hello and welcome back to the channel. On this channel we talk about solo travel for guys. And today I want to talk about my experiences in the airports, in international airports, and specifically transferring on to other countries. Um, it's incredibly confusing and if this is your first time ever taking an international trip, um, you're going to want to know kind of like where to go essentially. And, and I'm telling you this because I made the mistake at least twice, and I've been traveling for, you know, 20 years, whatever. Um, basically, when you're taking a flight to Europe from America, a lot of times you're going to have a you're going to have a stop somewhere. So if you want to go to, say, Italy or something, you might have to stop in London and make a connection and go to Italy. Well, when you're in London, because you're not leaving the airport to go to London to visit, you're going on to Italy, you don't need to go to passport control. Basically, you don't have to go to the window where they stamp your passport, say you're coming into London. What you need to do is you need to find the transfer area, like the transfer hall, and take the transfer hall and get on your flight to Italy. And again, I did that when I was in, um, I was in, I was in Budva, Montenegro, and I was flying to Sarajevo, to Bosnia, and I had a connection in Belgrade, Serbia. And I remember when I flew from Budva and I landed in Sarajevo, there was only one way to go. I mean, when I landed in Belgrade, there was only one way to go, and we all went to passport control and there's about seven lines and hundreds of people waiting and I got up to the window and I knew I was late because I knew I had a connection within like an hour and I got to the window and they said you don't need to do passport control you need to go back to the transfer way so I had to go all the way back through all the people and there was like a little tiny hallway that said transfers transferring passengers that I missed earlier and so I went there I missed my flight and as a matter of fact I think I had to get on a flight to Vienna and then get to uh, Sarajevo but it was it was a mess and it was all because I made a mistake of going to passport control um, in Belgrade and so and again I'm, I'm flying on a American or US passport so I don't know if you're flying on a different passport if you're from other, any other country what you have to do when you're you know passing through airports if you need a transfer visa or if you need anything like that I don't know but I'm just saying if you're an American anyway um, the, if you have a connection the first thing you should do when you get off the flight your first flight um, look for any type of transfer away to for ongoing passengers and if you don't see anything ask somebody at the airport um, because again you don't want to sit in line in passport control if you know if you don't have to if, or to miss your flight anyway um, and then and again I'm no expert in the airport trust me but from what I've seen so there's like passport control there's immigration and there's customs uh, I've never had to declare customs. Custom is basically if you bring in goods from countries, um, you have to tell them what it is. Um, I've never had to do any of that um, in my travel. So if you if you bought something that you're bringing in, um, I'm not sure what the rules are as far as like what you can bring, what you can in. But that's what customs is anyway. And then I think over ten thousand dollars, you have to declare um, some type of you have to declare your customs, whatever. The immigration is, I guess, combined with um, passport control, essentially, that they want to know, like what's said, when they stamp you, they want to know kind of what you're going to do in their country. So this is, again, this is not transferring on. This is if you want to go visit a place. So when you land in um, Spain and you want to, you know, hang out in Madrid, then you you're going to have to go through passport control and then they're going to stamp your passport um and then you can go on through um a lot of times not a lot of times but they'll ask you at the window they'll ask you sometimes um what brings you to spain uh, what are you going to do when you're here how long are you going to stay um they don't ask like where you're staying specifically but they they might ask you like how many days are you going to be here when's your return flight things like that um, they might ask you that at the passport window 
Um, they won't, and then, or sometimes they'll just stamp and let you go through. They won't ask you anything. Um, one of the things I will say about immigration, though, and again, this is probably not an issue, especially not in 2024, but it may not be an issue for a long time, is if you're traveling to Russia, um, if you're traveling to Russia by train, they will give you what's called an immigration card. I was I traveled from Tallinn, Estonia to St. Petersburg, uh, Russia, and on the at the border of Russia, all these security guys came onto the train and they asked everybody for their immigration or their migration card. I think it's called. And what it is, it's a like a postcard thing that you fill out all your biographical information. Um, I didn't know what it was. I didn't get one. Basically, the people on the train, they're supposed to come by and hand it to you, uh, hand it to everybody, but they never handed me one. Um, so anyway, so I sat there on the train and, um, and the, all the guards were speaking Russian. I didn't understand anything. And some guy was uh, sitting across the hall across the little aisle whatever and he heard this whatever and he basically and he spoke english um he handed me a migration card or immigration card and so they told me to fill it out i filled it out um and then you have to keep it with you in russia you had to keep it the whole time while you're in russia so because um, i remember when I, I just kind of threw it in my bag after i filled it out on the train um but then when I got to my hotel in St. Petersburg, they asked me for it, and I had to like dig it out of my backpack, and, and they said, keep it with you the whole time. So um, that's, again, that's an immigration migration card if you're in Russia um, uh, vacationing. Um, but again, I'm not sure who's, in, who's vacationing in Russia these days anyway. Um, so anyway, so that's kind of what I know as far as you know, passport control at the airport, the immigration process at the airport, and the customs part of the airport. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the in the comments. Whatever, I'll do the best I can to answer them. Um, thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.